you know, I'm stuck asking the general pop population to someone to step up to save my life. Three times a week for five hours at a time, Ed has to come here to the Penticton Regional Hospital, otherwise his kidneys will fail and he will die. His family and friends have come forward offering their kidneys, but either haven't worked out due to blood type or health reasons. So now Ed's only hope lies with the public. I've been a stay-at-home parent for a special needs child uh, for almost 17 years now. Um, he, he's going to need me for years to come. And, of course, my wife and, and my family life and whatnot. I'm just not ready to go yet. Ed is just one of many on dialysis waiting for kidneys. The Kidney Foundation helps them out however they can. This Saturday, handing out socks. It's called the Warm Your Soul campaign. And I've had my kidney transplant since February of 1999. One thing I remember before my transplant is that um, my feet especially my feet were always, always cold. Lim received her own kidney from a living donor, her father. I'm 44. My kidney is going to be 70 years old this year. Um, a lot of people think that they're too old to become either a live donor or to donate their organs. That is probably the biggest misconception. And so this I'm addressing to every single citizen out there. Whether you have a blood disease, you've previously had cancer, let the experts make the decision for you to see if you're a good candidate to donate your organ. You know, a lot of people go, well, I've, I've signed up for organ transplant. I've got the donor's card. Well, that only works when you're gone. Um, for somebody to step up and donate a kidney, being a living donor, I, I'd be without words. For more information on how to register for organ donation or to become a living donor, visit the Kidney Foundation. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery.